making maiden experience have hit a higher high. They've gotten that yep. gold medal that Boomy and Snowy together have not been able to achieve. But we're going to get right on into game number one. Of course, uh, a lot of people just loving that namesake from the uh, community poll. It looks like Boomy and Snowy have the favoritism on this one. Snowy's going to end up dipping down, but no worries just yet. We're going to see double gauntlets coming out from Boomy and Snowy. No surprises here, seeing a Rayman really on either team. This Oh, this is a mirror. Yo, yo, I, didn't, yo. I didn't. Oh, it's going to take him out. Yep, experience is done down there, taken out way earlier than anybody would have expected. That is on Rayman, a higher defense legend, so getting that is awesome. But we have basically the exact same team. Yeah. We have a cross and a Rayman and a cross and a Rayman. Yeah, Dalsim being that Rayman crossover, but it's effectively all crossovers because Rayman, of course, from the Rayman universe. The, the I'm, I'm nope. I was going to say the Rayniverse or something like that, and we're just, nope, <laughs> yeah, we're not, nope. we're going to move past that yeah. one. Uh, that's terrible, Whoa. and I would be angry if anyone else said it, but Boomy coming in with the down signature, shooting out both sides, charging that one up huge, making sure that one was a KO. Is he a fortune teller? He charged that down sig before Snowy even threw out the down air, and it worked out perfectly. Snowy setting up for the KO, coming out from Boomy, and that's put experience onto his final stock here. Boomy is dominating. I love that Boomy is showing the power of that down signature. I mean, we talk about double-sided signatures all the time. Absolutely love those. But it's also really quick, especially when you dash D-Sig. Your dash doesn't have to be perfect, whether they're in front of you, whether they're behind you. If they move forward, if they move behind you, it's such a strong move. And especially that was one on the cross kit that like wasn't highlighted in the initial people being excited for cross. It was like the neutral signature on gauntlets and the side signature on gauntlets and a little bit of the down signature on gauntlets. But now Boomy is showing the D-Sig on blasters is so good. It's so fascinating, too, because it's like Orions have been showing the power of double-sided SIGs with that spear down SIG for a while now. But now it's time for the crosses to start bringing them out. Left side, though, experience with the edge guard. Going to get the ground pound. Suddenly, the blue team's got the lead. He's going to grab two there, and he did that edge guard perfectly. He was able to just completely wait out anything that Snowy had on the board, waited the move out that Snowy threw. So in came the ground pound from experience, put it there perfectly to get the KO. Yeah, and experience, despite losing those first two stocks real quick, might outlive Snowy Boomy can't save him. We just have a very different game. Even after that first double KO, it's now changed even further as Snowy was taken out so soon. There's that neutral signature that knocks out super early. Boomy was in the orange. If he got hit by that, I would be willing to bet that KO. Definitely had that potential. Boomy going to get Ooh. caught on the outside. Down like ground pound experience and made wrestling that one back from the jaws of defeat. And they're going to be moving on very quickly. That does not surprise me whatsoever. Anytime Boomy is in a game, there is hardly any respite between rounds. He just goes straight on into it. He's ready to go, 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 go. Yeah, he's kind of notorious for mashing that go next button to the point where it, like, will break spectator. Like, the yep. map bands will come out before the score screen, score screen. But we're going right on into game two. Same pick, same map. Red team hoping to just con uh, continue that consistency they had at the beginning of the last one. Now I'm gonna. I'm glad we have the stat tool because I didn't get to see any of them. They yeah. moved too quickly. Didn't but have we're time gonna get for to him. see the stats. Uh, the graph was actually quite interesting. Uh, man, man, his his uh, stock extension was really strong there. We'll see if he's able to do it this game. Now we're seeing a little bit of a different opening. We're not seeing that super early KO, but we're also seeing very little damage on Snowy and Boomy. The same cannot be said for experience, but if Boomy gets caught over here, he didn't. There was no dodge for the GCD light into the ground pound that could have come out. Yeah, that was definitely a scary spot for Boomy. He's chasing high onto experience, but so far experience has been looking pretty good. He lost early on the edge guard against Boomy's ground pounds, but since then he's been doing really, really well against this red team. Again, offstage opportunity, Boomy gonna disengage he missed the gc delight but was still there to be able to pick up the recovery even without the first hit perfect you saw him jumping floating waiting to see what was going to happen with Maeve, seeing if experience was going to come over so he could disengage or throw something out against experience beautiful dare to spike down get the ko on that there is a lead for the red team but it's very slight you saw how far boomy got sent yeah i mean they were trying to survive on that edge guard experience gonna get both of nice. them with the neutral light Red team still managing to come back. Experience finally finishing one with that side air. I like that neutral light that Experience went for on the edge. That's that's not something we regularly see very often from Axe players whatsoever. Yeah, used to seeing like sword players do it, and even so, it'll be away from the stage. Made or sorry, Experience opting to go for towards the stage, and suddenly blue team able to bring this one back. 
relatively even edge guard opportunity and Boomy hits his teammate. He's hitting his teammate oh, he's more. still doing it. Snow, you saw him staying deep in the push off column, but he's still off stage. There's a good chance he may lose this stock here. The neutral air gonna help him out, but not for long. Boomy going deep down, see if he can survive this. He can't. It's four stocks to two. The team damage started, the dominoes falling, and it was bigger domino after bigger domino leading to the stock and a massive lead for Blue. Great capitalization from the Blue team, noticing that Boomy was kind of putting Snowy in a really awkward spot, forcing a lot of his teammates' options, and suddenly, Blue Team was like, all right, that's our opportunity to get a stock and then an extra one when Boomy goes to save them. They need to get these finishers on the blue team, though. They're both in the red. The recovery not going to be enough just yet. And a little bit before this, we just saw a perfect interrupt from Maid. It was on a soft platform. Boomy hit the D light onto experience that would have led into the recovery for the KO off the top. But no, Maid was there with his blasters to hit the Nair to interrupt Boomy, interrupt the KO combo, where now everybody on final stocks. Red team really isn't as far behind as I would have expected them at this point, but they still are definitely behind. We're seeing Snowy and Boomy both in the orange. That neutral air interrupting the recovery from Snowy. Yep. Oh, yo, the double team with the double gauntlets. Boomy deep down low. He's going to fall for that experience. We'll be able to get to the right side. He recovers. Snowy team comboed. Oh, man. Experience has been getting away with so much in the offstage, and he'll get away with more. Down like ground pound. The blue team is just winning in offstage engagements. They're moving quickly through this set. They don't want to spend any more time here than they absolutely have to experience and made. Now up 2-0 as we head into game three. Think about game one. Made an experience, took it after there was the super early KO. Then the second game, that wasn't the option there. And there was still team damage that came out and they were able to capitalize on that so well. Made an experience playing very well right now. Yeah, made an experience are just looking lights out there's so many times where it's like oh maybe boomy and snowy have finally found that thing that like showed why they were such a strong force and then suddenly maiden experience are like nope it's our turn to start winning again they capitalize so well on just the smallest missteps coming out from boomy and snowy and that's why they're currently up 2-0 and they're one game away from earning their spot in the top eight I had to look around because my head was blocking it. I was going to see if we were going to get any uh, character swaps. No, I don't think none so. What? So I also could have looked there. I'm being a silly little bear right now. We're going back to Apocalypse. This stage has not gone well for Boomy and Snowy. I feel like I'm watching yesterday when we kept going back to Brawl Haven. Yeah, sometimes players like to just keep repeating on those same maps because they know just a slight change and they could win. If Boomy didn't ground pound and then dare Snowy, could have been a W for the red team. And similarly, in game one, if Snowy was able to win in those edge cards against experience, could have been a win for the red team. As we get into this one, we're seeing another game where experience is taking a lot of damage early on. But past history tells us that uh, that doesn't really matter whatsoever. Look at that coverage there. First, it was the hand coming out from Boomy, and then the Yoga Flame coming out from Snowy with the down signature on the gauntlets. Didn't quite find a connection there. Well, here's the follow-up. Nice. Side to connect experience. Not able to interrupt that one. Red team going to try to get a little bit more aggressive while Maid was respawning, but didn't get too much out of that one. Snowy without a weapon. He's going to be looking for a weapon spawn. He's the only one disarmed. Goes onto the soft platform. He's too high for the experience. Gravity cancel side signature. Snowy really going for a big play there on an experience that is almost not hurt whatsoever. That was kind of a risky moment, but he knows that he was red, so he would likely be taken out soon. So really, he's just going for, I don't want to extend my stock that much longer. What I'm really going for is the massive play here. It's like mid-risk, high reward. Yeah, definitely wanted that kind of explosive play that could have propelled the red team into a victory here in game number three because they need to get themselves on the board. But right now, it's relatively even. Made might be the target, but the red team not really focusing them down. Just saw Boomy add up some nice blasters damage onto experience, continuing that going. The fact that Made is the one significantly more damaged between the two, it's a little bit different from what we saw previously. There's the D6 coming out again. Woo! He's going to grab that one. Side signature to finish that up. We now have four stocks to two. Boomy and Snowy were down 0-2. Made and experience were just a train that kept on going, but somehow... So Boomy and Snowy might be the uh, Spider-Man to slow down that train. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, they're standing at the front. They've got the webs on the buildings. They're really trying to slow this one down. And so far, they're doing it. They're up four stocks to the two of this blue.
blue team. And I really respect a twos team that they'll take one person and then immediately jump into the team combo. They're about to put a team combo onto experience. They're continuing it even though Maid's right there. So I put Boomy and Snowy in my predictions to take this whole thing home. And even though they're up four stocks to two right now, based on what we've seen so far this set, I'm not confident that they can win this game, much less the set. We've already seen huge comeback potential coming out from experience in Maid. I'm thinking this one's starting to wind down. Definitely is Maid is taking Whoa. out. Oh, what an attempt from experience to take out off the top. Didn't quite get it. Double side airs coming out, hitting one red team member, the other red team member, getting back to the platform. All of those active frames from Boomy. He felt safe to throw that out there if experience ended up going to the right of course he was going to fall into it you saw him stay where he was he's stuck into it he goes to the left guess who's there snowy he's going to be reaching up to send down and get the stop and i really want to rewind to one really small moment there at the very end where boomy saving snowy with the blasters recovery that's a move that a lot of people who use blasters will be like oh no i accidentally dropped it boomy 100 percent intentionally dropped snowy out not putting that final blast to try to keep that stock alive even though they have a lot of stocks boomy's trying to optimize make sure he can keep his teammate alive but not uh, put too much threat onto him as we get into game number four. Now we're only about 15 seconds into this one, but at least the beginning of it has a lot more damage being added up on May compared to everyone else. That seemed to be at least one of the ingredients to a winning game for this red team. Well, they'll see if they can turn that damage into a stock right okay. now. Might be in favor of the blue team. Boomy's going to fall and Snowy not in position to help him out. He does get a little bit more damage on the maid though. Could get a trade soon. You saw Boomy, he had the gauntlets in his hands. He was staying out there as best he could. You saw the Nair come out. That's what Experience knew was coming. So he completely stayed away from Boomy. He knew Boomy was done. No reason to go down there whatsoever. No reason to even throw your weapon and possibly disarm yourself. And really good coverage on the other side from Maid just a second ago, keeping Experience from taking too much of a punish on the edge guard. Left side, Snowy's still not able to finish, but they get this team combo, but oh. they don't get the hit. That would have been a good place to start getting back into this one because they could have taken out Snowy or Experience. Then that would have given them the chance to focus on Maid while Experience is spawning back into the game to get the full team wide. Meanwhile, Boomy taking a ton of damage on second stock. That blaster side up from Maid gonna bounce Boomy off the wall. The down air's coming out. Snowy is going to fall. Now he's on his second stock. Boomy is going to have to fight the 2v1 for just a moment while Snowy's coming back in. Not too many bad things happen there for Boomy. He got hit once or Yo. twice, but Experience is going to take out his teammate, helping out the red team, saying, hey, you took out Snowy earlier, Boomy. I got you here. We're going to trade one for one. Real homie move coming out from the blue team, but they're still in the lead, so they can afford those homie plays. Boomy in the edge guard goes in unarmed with the dare. This makes me so Snowy nervous. Snowy might have taken him out. The weapon toss. Boomy still manages Please. to get back. Please get away from from the wall, especially when you're at the weapon disadvantage. Boomy completely unafraid, but he shouldn't be right now. They're down one, two in this best of five. Both Snowy and Boomy are extremely red. Maiden experience are playing well. It's four stocks to three. Yeah, this is slowly becoming a blue team W as they are up big four to two now over Boomy and Snowy. It's gonna take something massive and generally that equates to edge guards, but I don't think the red team has those edge guards in the pocket anymore. I don't think they do either, Duke. You saw the weapon toss coming out, didn't make contact. Oh, no. he charged that one up. They needed that to get that stock off experience. Now they're focusing on Maid, but the side air doesn't come through. Could have been the KO move that they needed to at least tie up the stocks, but they still would have been behind. Yeah, there's a lot of damage on Snowy. This is game number four. If the blue team wins here, they're going into the top eight. Red team knocked down to the elimination side of things. Boomy comes in, tries to hit a side air, tries to interrupt. Snowy avoiding the big hit. Oh, Boomy was looking to follow up. The, this, like, charged up signatures are starting to come out from the red team. We're seeing a lot of neutral signatures coming out. Finally, they get the stock off of Maid. They need to do something big against Experience here. Attempted to that, but he ended up pulling out of it a little bit early. Tried to maybe hope for that oh. blaster. Just didn't want to put himself in a dangerous spot. But Snowy now out of the game. Boomy has to fight the 1v2. This is going to be a tough one. The down sig not quite enough to do it. And Maid relatively untouched. Weapon denied, booming the edge guard. Experience getting some hits in. 
Oh. oh, that took out two. I didn't know if it was going to have oh. enough on it, but made almost clutching that one out. Doesn't have quite enough strength. Oh. Just barely oh. spot dodging. But here comes the side sig, and it's a 3-1 for experience and made over Boomy and Snowy, qualifying for top eight winner side. Boomy and Snowy now have to make the long run through the lower bracket made in experience showing their experience of course that's that new blood that recency they won the midseason invitational they were talking all this game about how they were having internet problems during the uh summer championship but they're expecting to do well here today at the autumn championship and they're looking pretty good side six to finish that one you saw boomy just slide up that wall just a little bit just enough for that hurt box to peek over the corner for the side sig from made to make a connection. 6% accuracy, one of those being that yeah, gauntlet was, side sig. And, it uh, was that one, it was which enough. is crazy, because you look at the other side, 13 signatures, they almost...